Right. Biggest win of the season so far yes, today. Yes, indeed. Um, how dominant were you this afternoon? Yeah, I think um, it would definitely be up there as one of our best performances so far. Good to get a clean sheet. Like I said, good to get uh, three goals. And um, I think from you know from Ben right the way through the team to the subs that came on, I think it was a very solid performance. Ben didn't do much, did he? Well, he didn't have to <laughs> in terms of shot stopping, but his distribution was good, and you know. Everything he needed to do, he done, which can be said about everyone in the team and, like I said, the subs that came on as well. Four wins in a row, you're up to seventh in the table, only three points off the playoffs, and you've been a, a real pivotal part of this now. How much are you enjoying your role in this team? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know me, I just enjoy training, enjoy playing, I just enjoy being around the club with everyone, and, you know, it's a great group of lads. Um, so I always come in to do my work with a smile on my face, So, but it's obviously made it a lot more easier when you're doing well yourself, the team's doing well and like I said we're winning games and you know pushing in the right direction. I think what's impressed everybody with, with you in particular Kay has been obviously you lost the number nine shirt but you've at your age and your stage of your <laughs> career you've battled it back to, to win it back again it's yours again I mean you know it shows the commitment is there? Yeah yeah definitely you know um, you know I like to think whatever um, I'm asked to do always you know give 110 percent so like I said um, even though I did get the shirt as it was in a bit of um fortuitous mm. circumstances which is uh, really unlucky for Josh because you know up until then he was he was doing really well and like you said he made the shirt his own but you know I've got my, had my chance and um, you know luckily enough I've been able to play play well um, and you know the team's doing well but it's a team game you know whether I start whether Josh starts whoever starts throughout the team you know we're, we're a close bunch of bunch of lads and you know we're all pulling for each other so there's no animosity at all we're always spurring each other on and I think that's probably going a long way in um, helping us on the pitch. I know Josh, like many of us, look up to you. <laughs> 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 I think when you look at Josh though, what, what, uh, tell us a bit about him, what qualities he's got, what does he bring to it? No, to, he's to um, you know, very, very uh, similar to myself. I mean, he look, he's, a, he's a big lad, you know, he puts himself about, uh, very physically strong, you know, he's a fit boy. Uh, you know, when he get when he gets going, he's got a bit of pace about him. You know, and he, he, like I said, he's got I think he's got all the attributes to um, you know make a great career for himself. And I tell him that all the time, you know, and I try and help him as well as mm. everyone else in the in the club. And like I said, not just because I'm a senior pro or whatever, but everyone tries to help each other. So you know, Josh might say a few things to me after a game. I'll say a few things to him, and you know that spreads throughout the team. And like I said, I think that really really helps us on the pitch because we've got such a, a great bond. Do you feel as well playing with people like Kane Felix and particularly Danny Lloyd, the pressure's off you a little bit in terms of goal scoring because Danny is chipping in. What's that, 14 now for the season? I think Lloyd is doing more than chipping in, to be fair. <laughs> but no, he's, um, he's, on, he's on fire, to be fair. And um, no, yeah, definitely, obviously, as a striker, you sort of um, you live and die by your goals, as it were. But, um, you know, I've never been prolific. That's not what all my game's about. So. Um, you know, I feel like when I'm not scoring, I'm you know bringing a lot more to a lot of other things to the table. But like you said, when you got the likes of your Kane Phoenixes, Danny Lloyd, Johnny Marsden, Jimmy Ball, you know all these other other goal scorers. You know, we got goals throughout the team. Even the lads at the back have chipped in. I think um, it's only Lewis that hasn't scored this season, <laughs> but albeit he's obviously doing a lot more. He's had a great performance today and he's been brilliant throughout the season so yeah like I said the, there's goals coming from all over the pitch um, and like I touched on Lloydie in particular but you know it's a team game and we all win lose and draw together but at the moment uh, we're winning and we want to keep that going as long as possible. I think what, what surprised us a little bit I mean your game we know all about it but you seem to be getting better as the weeks go by your, your level of performance is improving what do you put that down to why is it getting better but is it just a run in the team or, are you, or even at your age are you benefiting from coaching from Jim Gannon perhaps um, right from the start of my career you know I've always been one to um, you know very much sort of you're never too old to learn mm. so I'm always willing to take information on and try and better myself you know on and off the pitch I just want to improve and um, I think um, Jim's come in and you know he's had a few different ideas and you know touched on a few different things and yeah I think not just myself but um, everyone's benefiting from his coaching you know he's a really really good manager and you know I think that's clear to see for everyone and I think we're all benefiting from his coaching and his methods and uh, 
yeah, like I said, I'm just, um, I don't know, I was joking with one of the coaches saying I'm, I'm like a fine wine, you know, getting better at <laughs> majors. Well. But no, I mean, to be fair, I think the last few weeks, I think my performances have uh, dropped off a bit, to be fair. Right. Um, because when I, when I first got, got back in the team, you know, I felt like I was, you know, the standing was really up there. But, you know, luckily I've managed to keep my shirt. Um, like I said, that's not just down to me. It's not just about me. It's about everyone in the team. We're all really doing well, playing well as a team. And I think, you know, we're growing. And um, if we're winning games and we're still not sort of at full tilt, then things can surely only get better. In terms of fitness, I suppose that's got to be a... A, a big factor at, uh, at this stage now, particularly at this time of the season, and uh, you, you're keeping your fitness uh, terrifically well. Uh, do, you, do you do much yourself outside of uh, the training sessions that the club put on? Yeah, I do. Um, obviously, being sort of full-time majority of my career, yeah. um, you know, when I first signed, I, I was, um, you know, every every day I'm not here, I'm doing something in the gym, whether that's cardio, whether that's strengthening or conditioning. You know, I'm trying to sort of keep them levels levels up. So. Um, yeah, just like I said, just try and do what I can to keep myself in the best uh, best condition possible. And, you know, we do that within the training structure as well. If um, there's some of the lads that aren't in the team, you know, we've got some great help with the two Knicks. Um, you know, we do some extra conditioning with me. And, you know, we do, as part of the, um, part of the sort of the, the lure of Stockport, you know, it's, um, like I said, it's a massive club for this level. And we're trying to stay as professional as possible and, you know, do things the right way. And, like I said, I think we're really benefiting from that. You've played in front of some massive crowds during your career, but this crowd here, they've got a real affinity with you now, <coughs> haven't they? And that, the, the ovation, I thought, particularly when you came off today, it was absolutely terrific. You, you must be enjoying it, the 4,000 again here today. Yeah, I mean, uh, what, what, what else can you say about this great, these great fans and a great crowd? I mean, I think it was like 3,900 again here today. And, Just you know, call it four. Been, yeah, we'll call it four, <laughs> not to be precise, but yeah, I mean, you know, some league teams aren't even getting anywhere near that, and to get that kind of crowd and the kind of support and the, the noise they make, you know, when they when they back you, and I hope they realise how how much a how much a lift it gives the lads on the pitch. You know, it really really does spur us on, and long may it continue. I've just got to say thanks not just for me, but from everyone connected with Stockport. We we really do appreciate all your support. Well, no, just finally for the last probably 20 years of your career, you've not really had much of a Christmas. But uh, what about this year? Are you able to enjoy it with your family at all? Yeah, definitely. I mean. Um, uh, well, early early uh, parts of my career is a bit different to now. You know, I'm married, got two kids, and um, they're at their age now where, you know, they're, they're they're very aware. So I'm really looking forward to seeing their little faces light up on Christmas Day. So yeah, it'd be good. And then obviously with the game on Boxing Day in the back of my mind. So not too much uh, not too much indulging for me. But no, really looking forward to it. And just want to wish you know all the listeners, all the fans, and everyone at the club. Uh, Really happy Christmas, hope you have a great day and hopefully we can give you a bit more to sing about on Boxing Day. Well, you've looked for a few faces here today. Biggest win of the season so far. Kay, well done. Thank Top you man. very much. Appreciate Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.